Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we'll be taking a look at Joy Toys Official License Warhammer 40k Imperial Fist Veteran Brothers Thoracius. This is a one teen scale action figure recommended for dog collectors and at least 15 years and older. Black box, nice artwork of the figure, pretty much all the text that we just talked about. Here at the top of the box, there's a little bit of battle damage and the Warhammer 40k logo. Here's the bottom of the box. Here's the side of the box. Other side of the box. And the back of the box has a content statement uh, for product images. One very large one with all the accessories laid out in front of him. And a small one with the front, the back, and the close up of the chest head area. All right, with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the figure inside the clamshell. And there he is, nicely packaged. Looks good. Also inside the packaging, you get this trading card. It's pretty cool. It's a very thin card stock, but you know, it is what it is. For myself, I could deal without the cards, but save a buck or something on the price. But they include it. They're not included with every figure though. Then here he is outside the clamshell. Um, first to notice is there's a V2 body on this particular figure. Um, nothing really stood out besides that. I was kind of hoping for a V1 body, but it is what it is. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, seems to fit the bill with the rest of his brothers and the Imperial Fist collection I have. So let's take a look at that head sculpt. He has the white helmet, blue eyes, black bent, silver tube and cylinder on the side. On both sides, and he has some type of wreath laurel piece around the side, of the back, and to stops like just on each side of his forehead. And he has this little scoop piece here on top of his helmet. It looks pretty cool. So that's what the top looks like. And as you can see, the head does rotate 360, side to side, back and forth. Pretty cool. There's our side profile, other side profile, front, top, in the back, two little silver tubes there, a little silver there on the just below his collar piece. For the pauldrons, he has the obviously the yellow with the red trim, extra guard here, some type of insignia here. And on this side, we have the Imperial Fist insignia this same type of pauldron. In the center he has his metallic maroonish color wings and imperial fist instead of the skull. Um has like, like, a, like a dirty wash there. It's either black. I think it's like a black, flat black maybe. Pretty cool. Some black vents here on the side. Um, so for his arms articulation, they will rotate 360 around. We do have the strap that's between the arm and the chest. So there's no ops on the sides, basically. Do these figures have any type of butterfly joints? No, not because of the uh, design. Uh, bicep swivel 360 is there if you want it right there. Double joint elbows looks good. Hands go down and up and then in and out. Same as always that we see. Um, pretty good. This gauntlet doesn't really have any uh, aesthetics or anything, but this one has this really cool iron skull on the like a cross piece. It's, it's actually a 3D piece. It's not like a uh, sticker or anything. It's very nicely sculpted. The chest area has some articulation back. He can puff out his chest. Um, there's some down. Seems like it's banging on something inside there. A bit down. Down at the waist, we do have some 360 rotation here. There's nothing on his uh, belt except for one piece there. So, here we have this little piece here hanging on a silver plastic chain. Go cross with some studs and a little skull inside. This is uh, articulated so you can go through six around, or you can just remove it off the ball peg. 
He has the side panels. On this side panel, he has a purity seal. PVC straps hanging down from the front of him. Nothing fancy besides some like gold or copper pieces here on the end. And the same for the back. So we have a place here for one of his um, accessories. Here at the bottom, we do have these two silver cylinders. The lower parts of the figure just has the thigh articulation 360. A couple of line work there, nothing on the knee pads. Double jointed knees, very cool. Feet do pivot down, pivot up, side to side. If you want a rocker, maybe you can force it, I'm not going to. And then there's a the articulation up. So yeah, pretty unique looking character overall. Definitely add a little bit of diversity to your appearance of your Imperial Fist. Um, chapter so very cool so here's a close-up some of the features we talked about there's our pauldron there's our chest fisted wings <laughs> there's the head sculpt the other pauldron the gauntlet very cool this little piece here it's a PVC piece front and back Looks really cool. No problem. It was a bomb his feet. They all got big feet, so. Alright, does come with an alternate head sculpt. Um some serious frown or if he's in some massive pain. Or maybe he's gotta take a dump. I have no idea. A little service stud there on his forehead, some scars. Um black with some white through his hair. On the side of his head. You see the yellow and silver here on this is part of his helmet. And, he, you know, and then on this side, we can see some more of his helmet there. And then this is just a pig. It's got to utilize the pig that's on his current helmet piece to uh, utilize uh, that head sculpt. Next up, we have this sword that looks very cool. I love the bottom of this thing. It has the skull with the jaw broken off. Pretty nice, done in gold. Black eyes and nose. Then we have another skull there, the black wrap. Nice little designs here. Two power nodes on this side, one power node on that side. We have the gunmetal shiny into the silver tip. Let's catch the light very well. That's very cool. Like I said, one of a kind of accessories. You're not going to get anywhere else. Regardless if you like the Warhammer series or not. The accessories are pretty sweet. And as I expected, V2 hands are super hard. So I'm not going to put the accessories in their hands. Because I don't have a hair dryer currently with me. So, But you see the accessories is the main thing. What to get, it's about that big. Pretty decent sized sword. Looks very cool. Okay, the next three accessories we'll do together. Here we have the uh, switchable pistol cases. Brown gun metal. And then we have the handle on that one. It's just uh, sculpted in. And one of just threw that on the ground is empty. That's because you have this piece. This is gun. Gun metal, black, blue. Barrels kind of drilled out. Pretty good on the barrel, um, front, top. So, you can have utilized these two pieces together, put this on his belt, on the back, or wherever you like, or right there. If you have the gun in his hand, or if not, you can just pretend like you have it there. There's no way you can get all the accessories on this figure, uh, because he has so many. So. That's a good thing though, I guess, for having more accessories, especially for the price point that these Warhammer fingers come in at. Next up we have this power pack. We have this ring here with a very sharp point, so be very careful. Um, that seems to be removable. Yep. It's on a pig if you want to take that off, but it comes with already attached. Basic pack and the color of the Imperial Fist with the wash, the gun metals. 
vents, these silver on the sides, the silver dots throughout, or bolts. These two articulate, but they're kind of stuck. Got to heat up with a hair dryer now. Reverse side, we do have a couple black wires and silver dots there on the inside. So that's really cool. They give us a little extra aesthetics. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get to stick a little bit. Got to heat that up too. So that's how it looks with that on. Once you heat it up, you can get it deeper into the uh, holes. You can uh, make it look a little better and get rid of that gap on the sides. So, nonetheless, pretty cool. Makes it uh, stand out even more. And the little baggie behind the clamshell, you do get this shield. Big Imperial Fist logo. Gunmetal trim around all around the shield. Some little squares cut out there. Pretty cool. And on the back. You have the same colors, but they didn't paint the power nerds blue with they should have. That it made it, you know, full come full circle. We have a grip there. Pretty cool. Not sure. Which I think it's uh, removable or not. Some of more, some ain't. Yeah, you can move it. It's just very really stuck. So that's pretty cool. As you can see it's quite a large shield. So you can build yourself a wall of shields with some of the other characters that we've gotten um, from the Imperial Fist uh, chapter at least. Pretty cool. And then we have some hands. We have the fist hand. It's pretty cool. Another gripping hand that's uh, super stiff. Got the pointing hand. And then you can have an open hand, which is really cool. And I'm wondering if you ever could like maybe mix a massacre uh, Blood Angel's hand on his hand just to give it like a little bit of red to match the trim. I think that'd be kind of cool if you want to do like a little kit bash. Well, there he is. Uh, yeah, you get a bunch of stuff with him. Pretty cool. Um, again, I don't have much cons besides my common complaint of the V2 body, stiff hands, and the pauldron uh, design. I hate that um, the most. Other than that, it's really cool. I think it is a good addition to your Pearl Fish chapter. Um, hope you guys liked this review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. A lot of great stuff on the channel and even more coming. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next review.